Thanks for joining another episode of Hangover Sundays. I'm Zoicus Life, and today we're going to be touching on prevention options uh, just to avoid the hangover altogether in the first place. We're also going to have another cooking segment. We'll be touching on some French toast. Super easy to make. Uh, so let's start off with some prevention options. Keep it light. Lighter drinks are going to save you. Drinks like red wine and rum, uh, they have more congeners. That's what's formed during uh, the fermentation of the alcohol. So if you stick to things like uh, vodka or white wine, that will help reduce your hangover, depending on how much you drink, right? Um, other options, stay classy. Uh, more expensive alcohols or liquors will contain less filler congeners, stuff like sugars and, and additives and colors, and that's kind of what really causes the headaches. So step it up a little bit more, be a little bit more classy, and you'll likely have less of a headache. Uh, another option, be the DD. Designated driver, you are pretty much sure to not have a hangover um, because you're not drinking alcohol. But, you know, everyone gets in the moment, you want to have some fun, you want to go out, let's go party. Uh, DD isn't always an option. So, I do have a few more options for prevention for you. Uh, there's eating fatty foods. Fatty foods definitely help. This is because the food helps reduce the formation of acetaldehyde, that word I could not pronounce in the other episode. Um, acetaldehyde is produced in your stomach, and it's the substance thought to really cause hangovers. Some fatty foods uh, to have, uh, you want them to have carbohydrate filled foods. So things like pizza and pasta are best for preventing hangovers, as the fat slows down the absorption of alcohol in your body. Keep in mind, it slows it down. It's not going to stop absorption, just going to slow you down. So you still need to watch how much you're drinking, especially if you've had a larger meal, because it's really easy to go overboard. Um, however, if you're trying to do more of a healthy alternative, there are ways. Uh, eat oily fish. Stuff like salmon and trout and mackerel. They have uh, healthy fatty acids. Well, that will help reduce your hangover. Other things, vitamins, super, super important. Probably one of the most effective ways to avoid a hangover. Uh, I suggest a B-complex, uh, B6, or B12 vitamins. Um, the vitamin supplements can be found in most drugstores or supermarkets. If you're looking for more of a natural way to acquire these B vitamins, um, things to eat are like liver, uh, meat, other animal products such as milk and cheese contain those uh, vitamins. So lots of alternatives. Healthy way, go to the store, grab some vitamins that way as well. Um, a good one is a spoonful of olive oil. A lot of Mediterranean cultures swear by this uh, hangover prevention method. If having a teaspoon of olive oil or a spoonful of olive oil isn't your thing, uh, just get some bread and toss it on there and munch away on some bread. Uh, delicious, right? I think so. Hit the rocks. Drinks with ice cubes in it will definitely help reduce your hangover because you have that water consum consumption as well as while you're drinking. Drinks like Manhattan and Cosmopolitan, they're strained, so when the ice starts to melt uh, and dilutes into your drink, your drink is still strong. It's not going to change the alcohol content, so certain drinks like that. But you have to watch out for mixed cocktails because there are a bunch that have additives and that's when the hangover is really going to start to set in, right? Uh, other things, downward dog. Scientists haven't really put much proof into it. I'm sure there's not much um, funding for this type of research. But doing things like exercising, meditation, breathing exercises, yoga, it gets your blood flowing. Uh, it will help uh, your circulation, reduces stress, so that alone should help fix your hangover if it's pretty bad. It sucks, but you'll feel good once your blood gets pumping. It's kind of like when you go to the gym, you don't want to go, but once you're there, it feels great, right? 
Uh, worst case scenario, a lot of reviews from bartenders are a Bloody Mary. That hair of the dog, apparently a spicy Bloody Mary is a great way to help fix that hangover. Uh, keep in mind, hair of the dog, we discussed this last episode, is only going to tide you off until, I don't know, an hour and that starts to wear off and your blood alcohol level hits zero and then bam, you're slammed with another uh, a hangover. So take these prevention options, use them wisely, uh, be careful with your drinking, always drink responsibly. If you've had a large meal, be careful on how much you drink because the absorption is slower. So if you drink a lot more and you feel like you're not getting that uh, that buzz that you normally have, just give it time because you can go over very, very easily. So now we're going to hop over to another cooking segment. We're going to do some French toast. Super easy to make, probably even easier than the crepes. I know, super hard to believe, but it's the truth. A uh, big shout out to one of my best friends, T, who we used to make this all the time after our hangovers. It is wonderful, makes you feel great. So, here we go. So you're gonna need some bread, some eggs, some milk. Um, vanilla, I use organic, but most people use this kind. I got pumpkin spice. Um, usually I use cinnamon, but I ran out. Crack in some eggs. If you get shells in there, dip your finger in some water, and it usually a lot easier to get out. Toss in your milk, some vanilla, and mix that in there with your spices. I threw in some salt and some pepper a little bit. Mix that in. There you go. So I threw in some oil. Not really necessary. Get your fingers messy. It's all right. I threw in some more spices after the first piece. And then get it all soaked, both sides. Throw it in there, and boom check it pretty often just like the crepes uh, you want to make sure that it's nice and golden brown so I do flip it pretty often it's not going to affect how it cooks uh, you just check it all the time let it sit here and there it smells absolutely awesome you can actually toss on some more uh, spice on top of it if you want it tends to come up a little bit darker like a burnt kind of look but uh, it's alright it's not really burnt this is actually my favorite hangover food and my favorite breakfast food and you can make it for that special lady or that special man in the morning and you are probably going to impress them. Uh, sorry about the camera moving about. My kitty cat decided to rub his face against the tripod so things are going a little bit funky there. You'll have some leftover eggs so you can just toss that in there. Let it cook. You're going to want to turn down the heat on the frying pan, otherwise the bottom's just going to cook really bad and you're going to be left over with the liquid on the top. Everyone makes scrambled eggs differently. Make it how you like. I tend to flip it very often so I can get the perfect texture. I prefer them a little more gooey. I think they're better that way. So toss that on the plate. Use whatever condiments you want. I prefer Aunt Jemima's original. That's how I set things up. There's your hangover food. And here's my little brat, Sagan. I rescued him just the other day. And he is nothing but loving and always, always getting in my way when I'm trying to record. And here he is, Mr. Sagan. Thanks again for watching another episode of Hangover Sundays. I hope that that French toast was easy enough for you to make. Go ahead and make it now. Um, it will make you feel so much better and it is delicious. Super, super easy to make, like I said. Uh, again, thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing and liking. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. As always, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. I hope your hangover was not too bad. And never forget to smile.